This is the third video on solving problems on shear strength of soil. In, in the previous two, we learned how to solve problems on the vein shear test and the traction compression test. In this video, we will be solving problem on direct shear test. This slide for a quick revision. The important thing to understand here is the Mohr circle. I want you to look at the major principal plane, the minor principal plane, failure plane, sigma 1, sigma 3, 2 alpha, we have sigma tau and c phi. Here we have a problem on direct shear test. The normal pressure is given 20. Tangential pressure is nothing but the shear stress is given 16 kPa. Friction angle 20 degrees, cohesion 8 kPa. We have to draw a Mohr circle and find out principal stress and the direction. So to make things more clear, we will write down the given data. We have sigma 20 kPa, tau 16 kPa, C8 and phi 20 degrees. We need to find out the sigma 1 and sigma 3 and their angles. So basically we are supposed to draw a Mohr circle and solve it by graphical method. But we will approach this problem with analytical method as well. The formula involved here for an analytical method are first alpha is 45 plus 5 by 2 second formula we have is sigma equals to sigma 1 cos square alpha plus sigma 3 sin square alpha and the third one we have is sigma 1 equals to sigma 3 tan square alpha plus 2c tan alpha so with the help of these three formulae we can find out sigma 1 and sigma 3 so moving with the first formula to find alpha, so put the value of phi, you will get alpha is as 55 degrees. Then moving on to the next second formula. In this we have sigma and the value of alpha. So putting 20 and alpha is 55, we get this equation A, where the unknowns are sigma 1 and sigma 3. Now using the formula 3, we can put the value of alpha here and the value of c. So again we will get one equation b still the unknowns are sigma 1 and sigma 3. So as you can see we have equation a and b and the unknowns are sigma 1 and sigma 3. So to find out two unknowns we must need two equations. So solving them simultaneously or you can use any method you want just replace one equation into the another you will get the value of sigma 1 as 42.5 and sigma 3 as 9.2 now moving to the most important part which is the graphical method so first as it is a direct shear test so the Mohr circle should come to your mind so this is the answer what we must be getting at the end now we will learn how to plot this. So again, if you have a graph sheet, you can use it or just plot two axes on your notebook. Look at the sigma and tau value. So based on that, you choose a suitable scale and suitable interval. Make sure you don't use a small scale. So your graph, the circle will be very small. Try to utilize a a whole page for this graph. So as you know the x-axis is sigma and the y-axis is tau. So the, look at the given data now. We have the value of sigma. So you can put it on x-axis which is 20. The next is tau. So it must be on y-axis. So you can put it as 16. So you can draw lines and you will get a point of failure. Now the third data is C. So 
it should come on y axis so we have 8 again to plot 5 you should draw a horizontal line to that you draw take a tractor you can take 20 degrees and you can draw a line it will touch the line at the feeder point now with this you have plotted all the given data into the problem now comes the important part so now what you have to draw is a perpendicular to the feeder point so to that point you draw a perpendicular line which cuts the x-axis so that point is nothing but the center of your Mohr circle so taking that line as a radius you can draw a semicircle so this is your Mohr circle now that semicircle touches the x-axis at two points so the first point is sigma 3 I hope you are getting the value around 9.2 and second point where it cuts is sigma 1 which is 42.5 so now you have the value sigma 1 and sigma 3 so you can compare with the analytical more or less it should be the it should be similar values now to find the direction of the principal planes or the angles so if you look back to the diagram of the mole circle for direct shear test you need to draw the failure plane first which is horizontal so from the failure point above you draw a horizontal line which cuts the mole circle at another point so from that point you draw two lines which cut sigma 3 and sigma 1 that's it you have your major and minor failure planes so you just need to find the angles inside and you have your answer so measure using protractor i am not mentioning it here you measure and you write it down so with this we finish the third video which was on direct shear test in the next video we will be solving a problem on unconfined complex